What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be ripping into another jumbo box of 2023 Top Series 1 baseball here. Uh, we've already ripped a lot of 2023 on the channel, uh, but I did want to rip at least one more jumbo box. Uh, we only did one jumbo rocks review on the channel. Uh, also did a hobby box review, some hanger reviews, blaster reviews, all that good stuff. So if you haven't seen those videos, go check it out. Um, I would highly, highly recommend if you're going to buy more 2023 Series 1 that you buy either Hobby or Jumbo, probably preferably Jumbo, honestly, um, just because of the huge increase in uh, the odds. So your chances of getting any good parallels in retail is pretty low. Um, I know these are more expensive, but in the long run, you'll probably end up doing better uh, just you know opening these rather than a bunch of hangers or a bun bunch of blasters or whatever. So we're going to rip into another one here today, see what we can find. Um, these are around $225 right now, uh, give or take probably five or 10 bucks. When they came out, they were 150, so a much better deal right when they came out, but still decent at 220 or 230 if you wanna rip some new product, which is what we're gonna get into right now. Hoping for a nice rookie parallel. Uh, we are gonna get those three hits guaranteed as well, plus a couple silver packs. So lots of goodies in here. Our first jumbo box had, I think, five or six numbered cards. Um, our hobby box didn't have any numbered cards. It did have a nice SP, but no like actual numbered cards. So let's see what we can get in here. We have our box topper right on top. It's going to be an Aaron Judge. That is not going to be numbered, but nice oversized box topper. We have our two silver packs which we'll open last, and then we will rip into our packs. I guess I'll pull a couple of these out, and we'll get to ripping here. So, pack number one of our jumbo box. Let's see what we can get. I'm gonna go pretty fast through the base as well, just because there's uh, not much value in the base. It looks like we have our manufactured uh, relic right off the bat. It's gonna be a thicker card. But we'll stop for any of the top tier rookies. Brett Beatty's not a bad one, but I'll sleeve all the, the good guys up later, don't worry. We got Vargas, more flipping. Betty Altuve. And we're getting to the middle of our stack here. I'm gonna start out with the Tristan McKenzie. Should be a foil card, so non-numbered foil. Tristan McKenzie. And we have a numbered 3030 club, Larry Walker. That's the black variation out of 299. 249 out of 299. Not bad there. One pack, one numbered card. Our manufactured relic is going to be Xander Bogarts, City Connect. Very nice. That one is not numbered either, but that's your one guaranteed manufactured relic. Then we have an All Aces. Pedro Martinez, not numbered. Robin Yount and Adley Rushman, very nice. So good pack here, one numbered card, one hit, and one top rookie. We will absolutely take that. Let's see what else is in here. Good start to this box, I would say though. Still looking for those rookie parallels. Those are the ones you really wanna hit or anything low numbered, of course. We'll get the Adley sleeved up. We'll get the City Connect sleeved up. And we will continue on to pack number two here. In just a second. If you guys have uh, opened any of uh, 2023 Top Series 1, let me know what your favorite format is. Uh, I think most people are on the same page about the retail being pretty bad this year, unfortunately. But... Uh, if you guys are ripping Hobby and Jumbo, let me know which one you prefer. Me personally, I think I prefer Jumbo as of now. All right, good pack. Pack number two. Okay, I'm going to go pretty quick through the base here. Just stopping for any of the top rookies. Not much doing in this pack. Kate Cavalli, Tyler Wells, we have a backwards card. Tyrone Taylor, should be another foil, if I had to guess. We have our second hit as well. Tyrone Taylor, foil, not numbered. 
Then our relic of the box is gonna be a Brendan Crawford. One color relic there, Major League Material. That one is not numbered, so just the base relic. So we got our two relics out of the way pretty early. Nothing special, maybe our, uh, our autograph will make up for it. This is a nice one. Brett Beatty, Greatest Hits. Mark McGuire, and then more base. Gunnar Henderson is a very, very good rookie. Sleeve him up. Julio's second year. And a bunch of base cards here. No real rookies to note. And that'll do it for pack number two. So two packs down, two hits out of the way. Very nice. Again, I would say probably not, not the biggest hits in the world, um, but you are guaranteed two relics in each box. So it's nice to at least get your guaranteed relics. We'll get into pack number three here. Got the two top Orioles rookies, two hits, and a number card. Very nice. All right, let's see what we have here. Might go three for three on hits. That'd be very interesting. And let's see if we see any good rookies. Don't see anybody as of now. Tyler O'Neill, Vaughn Grissom's a decent one. Do have a backwards card here. Aranda should be another foil. We have a gold parallel behind it. Let's see what that gold parallel is. I think it was a league leaders, it is, so. It's a uh, Jonathan Aranda rookie rainbow foil followed by a gold, uh, what is this? The Alonzo Goldschmidt Lindor NL RBI leaders. That should be out of 2023. It is gonna be 628 out of 2023. Riley Green, greatest hits, not numbered. And some more inserts and base here. Looking for that Riley Green uh, base card. Not much else in this pack that I'm seeing. And if I miss something huge, just let me know in the comments. Be greatly appreciated if I do miss something. I'm trying not to, even though I'm going pretty quick through all the packs. I don't want this to be a super, super long video. I know you guys have seen a ton of Series 1 rips, I'm sure, or been a part of them, or ripped yourself. And we'll get that Aranda sleeved up. Get into our next pack here. This is pack number four of 10. Again, we have our two relics out of the way, so we're still looking for an auto. And then just numbered rookie cards. So honestly, the any numbered rookie card will probably be better than our auto based on what I've seen, but you never know. Evan Lee, bunch of upside down cards. I probably could have flipped Mike Trout. Pasquatina. Daza, okay, we're getting to the middle here. Should have our good stuff. It's gonna be a checklist, star power. Should be another uh, foil, it's the gold foil. That's the jumbo exclusive. We have one, two punch for the Cardinals, not numbered. And in 1988 of Bieber, and more base. So we started off hot in this box. We are slowing down quite a bit. Trying to get all those top rookies as well. Be nice to see two uh, Adley Rutschmans. See if we can't do that. I'll pull some more of these packs out of here. Probably pull the rest out actually. Should be six packs left. And one hit hiding. Hopefully some low numbered, maybe a camo out of 25. That would be sweet. All right, this pack is officially halfway through the box. And we are still looking for that auto and rookie parallels. Yachty, Blade, not a bad rookie. Not one of the probably top five guys, I would say there is. A nice one. Riley Green, rookie. Figaro and City Field. Should be another foil card. Gold foil, City Field, so no rookie, unfortunately. 
3030 Club, Mike Trout, very nice. It's not numbered as well. Nolan Ryan, 88, and more base. So we've hit kind of a lull in decent hits. Most of our packs, most of our last like three packs have just had uh, standard inserts or non-numbered foil parallels. And nothing else in that pack, unfortunately. Did get the nice Riley Green though, so we'll check him off the list. Hopefully we're still looking for Michael Harris and Nolan Gorman and Gabriel Moreno and a couple other guys. See if we can't get him in this pack. Swinski, Cortez, Libertor. Mike Trout again. Starting to see some duplicates. Pasquatino again. And we have a backwards Buddy Kennedy. I believe that's just gonna be another foil. Oh, we have two. There we go. Buddy Kennedy, gold foil rookie. Right behind that, another leaders gold card, unfortunately, the ERA leaders. So we've had two gold cards in this box. That one is 123 out of 2023. Two gold cards, but both were the leaders cards, so no rookie gold. There's a Spencer Torkelson, 88. Soto, and again, just looking for those rookies at the back here. Not seeing any yet and that'll do it okay so halfway through the box officially we have two gold numbered cards non-rookies a couple rookie parallels no one big we have our two uh, relic hits and we have that nice Larry Walker in the back there so four more packs plus our two silver packs which can also have big hits in there, which is another reason that I prefer the Jumbo. Langoliers is not a bad rookie. Morel, another decent one. Moreno, he's a good one. Flip right there. Chris Bryant, Tanner Rainey, Bobby Witt, second year, gold cup. And see what we have here. Josh Rojas. That is going to be another foil and another gold behind it. Does not appear to be a rookie card. So we got the Josh Rojas rainbow foil. We have our third gold card. And that is a Paul Sewald. Right behind that we have our auto which is Vaughn Grissom. Very nice. Very, very nice. So the Sewald is out of 2023. It's 735 out of 2023. Then we have the Vaughn Grissom Auto. Unfortunately, it is a sticker auto and it's off the card, but that's okay. Good player there. Always nice to get a position player. That one is not numbered, unfortunately. We have an All Aces, Alec Manoa. We have a Moreno, Rookie 88. And more base. So that's a pretty good auto right there. It's not, you know, nothing huge, but definitely a better name to get than any of you know there's some really low end pitching autos you can get um so that's not bad i'm actually pretty happy with that i wish it was on card but can't always get you what you want unfortunately and he did go off the sticker just a little bit i will say we have three numbered gold cards in this box which is Pretty good based on the odds. Um, you're definitely not gonna hit this many in retail. But we'll see if we can hit some lower numbered parallels because that's all of our hits out of the way. With three packs left. I'd like to see some of those icy parallels or something super low numbered. Let's see if we have any more of those top rookies hiding in here. And I probably could have flipped by now, but there's Von Grissom, our auto guy. There's Evan Lee, rookie, getting to the middle again. It looks like we have a home run challenge. Before that, we have another foil card, Jordan Romano, rainbow foil. 
Oh, we do have a pink. All right, Mother's Day pink behind this Bobachette. Let's see what we have. It is a red, it is a sideways. Can we get Michael Harris? No, unfortunately. We get a Judge Walks Off in 10. Very nice. That is the Mother's Day parallel. It'll be numbered out of 50. So there's our low numbered parallel. That one is 49 out of 50. Very cool there. Unfortunately, another one of those team cards. So we've been hitting a lot of those in this one. But we will take the Mother's Day for sure. It's probably gonna be that and the Grissom are probably gonna be the best two hits of the box. There's Michael Harris, rookie. Get him sleeved up. Cunha, Sosa, Cabrera. And that does it for that pack. So eight packs in. We have all of our hits. We have our Mother's Day parallel, which is our lowest numbered parallel that I've pulled out of uh, 2023 Series 1 at all this year, which is pretty cool. Definitely a, uh, a rare card, so we'll switch him out in the back. Put our Mother's Day right there. We've got our home run challenge. We have two packs left, then our two silver packs, and then we will get out of here. Let's see if there's any more numbered parallels hiding. I'm guessing we're just gonna have some foils. We've got a lot of numbered cards in this box so far. At least four, maybe even five, I think. Massey, Mookie Betts, and we have a Christian Pache, should be a foil. Very nice, Christian Pache, gold foil. Then we have a Future Stars, George Kirby. That is going to be the advanced stats parallel out of 300, 17 out of 300. See those advanced stats down there? Average fastball speed, fastball percentage, spin rate, stuff like that. Very nice. Not a rookie, but you know, another nice numbered card. One, two, punch. There's a nice Julio insert. Sleeve him up, of course. And some more base. There's Nolan Gorman. So I think we have almost all the rookies, if not all of them. Hoping to get a duplicate of one of the better guys, but definitely not guaranteed that. Very nice. All right, last pack coming up here. Got the, got to sleeve up the Gorman and the Julio. Got to get that George Kirby all protected since it is out of 300. I do believe that is our sixth numbered parallel. We have three gold. We have the Mother's Day and we have the black insert. Is that five or six? Might have four gold. Not really sure, we can count at the end. Last pack here, before those two silver packs that we saved for the end. Jeter Downs, Cal Mitchell, another backwards call card, Paul Goldschmidt. Should be another foil and another gold. Very nice, bunch of numbered cards. Let's see what this gold is. It is a rookie, Buddy Kennedy. So there's the uh, Goldschmidt gold foil and a Buddy Kennedy rookie gold out of 2023. Not exactly the name you're looking for, but 1684 out of 2023. Another numbered card to add to our stack. And we have some more base to round it out. Get any of those other, there's Tristan Casas. I guess we hadn't had him yet. He's pretty good. And that should do it for the jumbo pack portion of the jumbo box. But we do have those two silver packs, which absolutely can have some, have some good hits in there. You're hoping for, again, another rookie parallel or a nice auto. So let's see what we can get. Get two in every jumbo box. See if there's anything in these. That's a good one to start. Mike Trout on the front. Don't think we have a hit in this one. Mike Trout. Vinny Pasquatino, rookie. Bo Jackson. And Ozzie Smith. Now, Ozzie Smith is not numbered, so we didn't get a hit in that one. 
We did get the nice Mike Trout though. Which is always a good guy to get, so we'll sleeve him up and we'll get our last pack opened here. Hoping for a hit. At least a numbered parallel. And I don't think we have one, unfortunately. Maybe an Adley rookie then. Libertor. Kyle Stowers rookie. Wrong Oriole, unfortunately. We do have another Oriole in the back. Alex Bregman. And can we get an Adley or a Gunnar Henderson? It is a rookie. Oh, Taryn Vavra. Man, another Oriole rookie. Unfortunately, two Oriole rookies in that pack, but not the guys we were looking for. So that's all right. That'll do it for this box. Uh, let's do a quick recap of some of the better cards. So this is a stack of just some of the good cards we've got, the good rookies, some rookie foils that are not numbered. Rookie insert, Gunnar Henderson. The uh, better cards we got out of the box, we did get that gold Buddy Kennedy out of 2023. The advanced stats out of 300. The black insert out of 299. So that's three numbered cards. Paul Sewell gold, that's four. That's five. That's six. And then we got the Major League Material was our relic of Brandon Crawford. City Connect, manufactured patch of Xander Bogarts. Our Adley rookie. And our two best hits. This will be numbered card number seven out of this jumbo box. The Mother's Day out of 50, 49 out of 50. Right there, very nice. And then our auto was a nice rookie auto of a position player, Vaughn Grissom. So that one is not numbered, unfortunately, but it is a pretty decent auto. So overall, I would say pretty good box. Um, again, I would highly suggest if you guys are gonna open more 2023 Top Series 1, that you get these jumbo boxes. Um, on average, I've had about five or six numbered parallels Plus you get the silver packs, plus you get three guaranteed hits. So um, in my opinion, it's the best, it's the best way to uh, rip series one, but let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.